holy God. Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm from Tennessee and I don't have a voice. Why not? Because I'm a liberal from a red state. During peak campaign season in 2004, no presidential candidates visited Tennessee compared to over 100 visits in Florida and Ohio alone. In terms of spending, my vote cost only 15 cents in TV advertising. I would have been worth over 10 bucks in New Mexico or Nevada. Because Tennessee is practically guaranteed to always vote Republican, we get no attention from presidential candidates. Many of my friends aren't even registered to vote. And why should they? It wouldn't change anything. It's no wonder that states are clamoring to hold their primaries earlier, since most states don't even have a say in presidential nominees. Now, a group called Californians for Equal Representation has submitted a ballot initiative to divide up California's electoral votes by congressional district. This could give the Republican presidential candidate around 20 extra votes in the 2008 elections. Although I'm a Democrat, I understand their frustration. It is the same frustration I felt in 2000 when Gore won the popular vote but lost the election. We need more than just one state, however. What we need is a total national rehaul of our election system. We need to reinstate the popular vote. In an August 2007 Rasmussen poll, 54% of American voters said that they wanted to get rid of the Electoral College. Only 30% of us want to keep it. What are we waiting for? Every citizen from every state should have a vote. I don't get it. Don't you like me? Of course I like you. So wh what's the problem? It's just that you're a third party candidate. So that's it? You're gonna choose him? How you doing? But he doesn't even support the same issues as you. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't throw my vote away. Take care! Democracy should look like cable TV Instead of how TV looked back in 1953 The two-party system is just like the big three They're still 50 years behind where they probably should be Yet democracy should look like cable TV With as many parties out there as the stations I receive We'd all be represented much more democratically If democracy looked like cable TV you could vote on single issues like healthcare or immigration Like you vote with your dollars watching single issue stations Golf, home and garden, or cartoons all day long If we can do that, why can't I just vote stem cells right or wrong? Democracy should look like cable TV There's many parties out there as the stations I receive We'd 
all be represented much more democratically if democracy looked like cable TV. I want the democracy of the future to let me vote on issues. So we're not stuck in a gridlock two-party system where nothing gets done. And so I don't have to vote for a candidate I only agree with 52% of the time. Sometimes I vote for workers' rights, sometimes deregulation. Imagine now if I went back to just two TV stations. There's one for sports, there's one for soaps, there's one that's only game shows. But still I pick from candidates who always pass the same vote. Democracy should look like cable TV. Many parties out there as the stations I receive. We'd all be represented much more democratically if democracy looked like cable TV. Uh, hi. Th thank you so much. I, I, I can't tell you how much all this means to me and how much I appreciate uh, the, the honor uh, and, and the chance to sort of share my vision for the future of democracy with you guys. Um, actually, I thought you should know that wasn't the first metaphor that I came up with for a song. I, I tried some other stuff, um, and I felt like that worked the best, but I thought I would uh, let you in on the creative process a little bit and show you some of the other ones that uh, I think make sense but didn't quite make the cut uh, for the song. Democracy should look like Los Angeles public transportation. Costly and only useful to people who already know their way around it. Democracy should look like Civil War facial hair. Abundant, unkempt, and hilarious to future generations. Democracy should look like Ann Coulter unyielding in the face of reason and common sense and with blonde highlights. Democracy should look like my buddy's wedding, haphazardly thrown together at short notice to make up for one careless night. Democracy should look like Mark Paul Gossler. Democracy should look like a friend who goes out to the bar every night, gets drunk, gets into fights, and gets kicked out, and then does it again. Because democracy is supposed to be a dirty, stinking business that sometimes leaves people embarrassed in its wake. But it should also never accept the limitations others impose on it. It should push and push and push the boundaries day in and day out, knowing it's going to get stomped on and kicked around, and knowing everyone in the room is going to be annoyed with it, knowing it will never win a victory that allows it to rest. But fighting because it's in the struggle itself that it understands what it means to be free. Thanks for letting me be a part of the struggle for a better democracy with you. Enjoy the gala. Uh, oh, and if anybody wants to commission me to write that Civil War facial hair song, my email address is uh, right down there. Bye-bye!